Today is the last day of the Rains Retreat. It's called the Day of the Invitation. It's on the day today that the monks invite one another, that if there's anything in terms of the training rules that they've either seen that one another break or heard that it's happened or suspect that it's happened, each monk opens himself up to criticism from the group. Any, anything that you'd like to accuse me of, you can go ahead and accuse me now. That's what the, basically the invitation says. And if I see that it was really wrongdoing, then I'll try to make amends. And this deals specifically with the training rules, not just bad habits, but it's more things that you've broken the rules for. But it's a good example, in general, that you'd be willing to take criticism from other people. The reason the Buddha said it for the last day of the rains is that, on the one hand, the monks get to know each other so they know another monk's habits. If there's going to be an accusation, how he's going to respond. And at the same time, they also know the type of people who are making the accusations, because sometimes you can see right through it. Someone's trying to make trouble. If you've been living together for three months, you get a sense of one another this way. So this is why the Buddha established this for the end of the rains. Instead of chanting the Bani Mocha, we have the invitation. And then if all the monks make their invitation and there's no one making any accusation, that means that the monks have sort of give one another their seal of approval. We've lived together for three months and haven't seen anything untoward in this person's behavior. Because remember back in those days, the monks were wandering around all the time. Someone might wander into where you were and you had no idea what his background was. But if you heard that he spent the rains at a certain place where the monks have a good reputation and he came out without any accusations, then you'd be more willing to accept him. So it served a social function in the Sangha, but it also serves a personal function that you'd be willing to take criticism. We talked about this last night in the Dharma talk, but it's good to keep thinking about it, because when you do something wrong and nobody tells you, how are you going to know? You figured, even if you know that it might not be quite all that right, you figure, well, it doesn't really matter, I can get away with this, and then that kind of behavior becomes a habit. And so if you're open to criticism, you're basically taking other people's eyes and ears and using them to look at your behavior. So it's not just your eyes and ears, but it's eyes and ears of other people who are training. And that's a very valuable gift, a very valuable source of, of knowledge. So when someone criticizes you about your behavior, as I said last night, you're taking into consideration, is it true or is it not true? Are they just trying to do something to find fault? Look at the person's intentions, but also look at your own behavior to see if there's anything you really can improve. As the Buddha said, it's this way that we progress in his teachings, by willing, be willing to take criticism from one another. So don't just depend on your own ears and eyes. Make use of the ears and eyes around you. That way you get a fuller picture of what you're doing and what you can do to do better. <laughs>